Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a trending review. So today I've got this gadget. It's called the Yamaran ALM9 Pocket Light. It's essentially a, a powerful LED pocket sized light for your DSLR cameras. I just wanted to see if it's actually worth the money. I got it for 45 pounds on Amazon. So let me go ahead and take a look and see if it makes a massive difference by illuminating various different parts of your reviews, shots, objects, yourself, and so on. So let's get straight into it. Right, just to start off give you some details it's actually card sized so i've got a gym card here that i use if i just put that over it it's actually exactly the same size and it's very lightweight doesn't weigh that much it's actually got nine led lights in there which actually makes it quite bright on the left hand side you have the power button to turn it on and then you have the brightness level buttons that you can adjust it with as well so there's nine levels of adjustment to the very brightest until the minimal amount of brightness the battery life on it is about one and a half hours on full brightness and you get up to 13 hours of minimal brightness LED on there and that's obviously consecutive use so over time you know they can use that for longer periods so it comes with a cold shoe as well that you can mount on top of your DSLR cameras which I'm using for mine as well so essentially I use it for close-up shots pan movements of various objects when I'm reviewing videos I get the LED light on there and I get close shots and make sure the lighting is awesome on it as well. So also it comes with this nice little carry case, nice little pouch that you can put onto your backpacks. Inside it comes with a couple of things. So you have your USB charging cable that you can charge that with. Right in the other pocket you have a cleaning cloth which is pretty good. And then you also, also comes with a couple of filters. So you get a gold filter which gives you more of a sepia effect. And then you also have a blue filter which gives you more of a cold nighttime effect as well if that's what you prefer. So you can place that on top of this inside the slot there. Now let me show you the brightness level on this as well. So I'm just going to turn it on. You can see that's actually at its maximum level. So I can reduce it up to nine levels down to minimal brightness. So if I'm just holding the reduce brightness button, it will just go down itself. I can either press it once to go up one level or I just hold it down and it will just go up smoothly to the highest level. Now, of course, you want to see actually how it fares with other studio lighting. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm using a ring studio light, specifically this one here. So I'm going to turn this off and turn this on just to see the comparison of actually how bright that one is compared to this. So let me go ahead and do that now. So this is how dark it is. Obviously, you can't see anything. I'm going to be turning the Amaran LED light on now. Right, as you can see, this is on its full brightness. It's not as good as the studio light because the studio light's purpose is to brighten up a entire room. So this one focuses on specific objects, but it's actually made me a little bit brighter, even though the background is still a little bit darker. But what I'm gonna do now is do some close-up shots with just the Amaran LED light on some objects on his table and see how it looks with the studio light and obviously with the uh, pocket light here. So let's go ahead and look at that now. Right, so that's everything I wanted to cover with this uh, pocket light. If you guys have any questions, please do let me know. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can buy it on Amazon. It cost me about £45. It's not the cheapest, but also for the amount of power you get in this pocket light and the convenience of taking it easily anywhere you like, I actually think it's good value for money. So do check it out. Link is in the description. I hope you subscribe. I've got some other videos coming up of useful equipment that you can use for your DSLR camera when you're taking photography or you're doing some filming. I think you'll find them very useful, so keep an eye out for those. Again, like the video, hope you subscribe, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Take care.